Welcome back to this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. <clears throat> well, we got some statue that we needed to get this bridge opened. And of course we learned about Fenerel freeing slaves and teaching the other elves that the Evanurus were not gods. They were mortals, powerful mages. I assume this is yes. Okay. I don't see the guys fighting anymore. I don't see anybody fighting anymore. They were fighting. Ah, uh, I see some red up ahead. Kunari. Come and get. There's more coming. I think, for sure. Well, no, the red dots are gone. All the red is gone. Do we need this? Nope. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Anything up here? No. No, gang, no! 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 Dot over that way, I thought. Some holla. I thought there was a red dot over this way. What are we looking at? What is that? What is it? Prophet's Laurel. I guess go into the thing. What's back over here, though? Lots and lots of holla. A golden holla. Should we kill it? No. Sounds like it's special though, it's golden hollow. What is this? A 
Sexton. Somebody's been doing some engineering work. Huh. But there's nothing here to pick up. No, nothing to read, no loot, no nothing. Lots of profits, Laura. What is I don't even know what that's good for. Lots and lots of it. Holy crap. My goodness. Tons and tons of this stuff. Profits, Laurel. Do we care? No, I don't think so. Is there a battle going on here? There certainly is. Does that help out any, Viv? more fighting going on here oh yeah
case somebody wants to come and get me. Yeah, you. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. You ain't getting away that easy. Why did those Kunari attack the Inquisition on sight? Kunari never act without orders. A commander in the Kun must have given them. Are you saying the entire Kunari nation wants us dead? Could be. Let's check this place out. Is that one of their spears? Hmm. Alright, we ran past here without getting any loot. So we need to get the loot. Get the loot! If there is loot, there should be loot. Your beds. These must be for the canary. This is their little camp, huh? Okay, there's a ladder, but that's not loot. Another tree over here. Can we get in that way? How to get through that stuff? I'm not quite sure. Let's find out. I have a new plan. I have a new plan. Go! It worked! My new plan worked. Oh, pfft. Whatever. Ouch. Anything up here? Hmm. 
read. The dread wolf keeps its gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. Well, that looks like the one. Or is it that one? That looks like the Dread Wolf, kinda. That is definitely the Dread Wolf, and he's taking off the Valisleen, it looks to me. Let's examine this. That's Fen Harel, removing the face markings from a Dalish elf. Isn't this place older than the Dalish? Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning. Same thing over here, same picture. And here are the elves without the uh, markings. So the dread will press. Do we do we want to press without having done anything else? Nothing. I didn't think so. This looks like where the wolf's looking. Lifting of the Valisleen. A wash of powerful magic carries a sensation of determination. Images flashed by former slaves in ranks with Fenerel, armed and strong. Their skin is clear, their faces tattoos, the elven Valisleen are gone. Words are not so much heard as felt. The brand of the Evanurus can be lifted from you, that all may know you oppose their cruelties. None here are slaves. All are under our protection. All may choose to fight. Hidden weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris, posing as gods. Elven mages who hoarded power and slaves. One could see parallels to Tavinta's magisters. Canari got down here, didn't they? Um, drink up. Another one? Look at that. Look at all that gold. My God. More than armory, this is a treasury. What's going on in here? Ah, aha, look who.
I don't know if that'll hurt him or not. It doesn't seem to do anything, does it? Is this another one of these um, immune to everything that you can throw at me? What? Single incarnation. It's nice, but... Oh, here we have the orders. I guess we have to take this to get their orders. Plan of attack. Written both Kunlat and the common tongue. I have read your reports. Station your people in the abandoned Elven Towers by the lake. It is a short distance from its entrance to the mirror that connects to Halamshra. We will need the space to lodge our people after the infiltration is complete. There's a map of the crossroads at the bottom with an arrow from the elven ruins. Alluvian to the Alluvian that leads to the Winter Palace. This letter says the Kunari came to these ruins because the Alluvians connect to Halam Shara. A staging ground for an invasion? It yep. was some sort of infiltration. There's no more details. What are these things? Oh, I see. It's armor with shields on the sides. Okay. An unknown agent. <coughs> this gore-spattered letter was written in both Kunlat and the common tongue. Two hours ago, an unknown intruder penetrated our defenses. Masked in cloak, a mage used magic to awaken spirits and turned them against us. Intruder moved as if he they knew this place. Why they? I guess it's a way of s saying it for a person without saying, specifying a gender. Fled after spirits awoke. Dozens dead. Spirits keep attacking. Engagement not re rec uh, I guess he says recommended. The rest of the letters are illegible. Blood is still wet. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. A mage. They must have fought their way out, then let the spirits finish off the Kunari. Two parties, then. The Kunari, and a mystery agent determined to stop them. Then Harald, the Come Dread on. Wolf. We have to warn Solace. people about the Kunari's designs on the Winter Palace. Note regarding the wolf statue. Remember, if you wish to move the statue, light the second sconce from the left as you face the wolf's head. Use the blue-green flame in the brazier. It's magic, but will not harm you. Remember your duty to the Kuhn. When you light the sconce, a box clutched in the statue's balls will open. There is an item inside. Do not touch it. It's old and elven. We, have a, we will have a Cerebos examine it for magic when the time comes. I didn't remember getting anything out of that. Let's find out what Vivian has to say. You know, darling, this place gives me an idea for redoing the small summer breakfast room at Chateau Ghislaine. You have a different breakfast room for every season. A century ago, it was in fashion to have a different room for every meal and every day of the week. 
When that fad ended, the Dukes of Ghislaine converted most of the rooms to closets. Storage is timeless. Yeah, okay. But I don't remember getting anything out of those from pressing that button. How many potions? We used three potions during that fight. Arrowwood. Hello, gang. You could leave me alone. Piercing arrows. I don't know what piercing arrows are. Lord only knows. I have no clue. What is this little guy doing here? What happened to my, uh, what happened to my torch? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Find out what we did to make it go away. Maybe it needs to go downstairs? downstairs okay how far can what's gonna happen what makes it go away right here hmm hmm Let's take it downstairs and find out. Unless maybe we use it out here? Could it be useful out here somewhere? Let's find out. No? Well, maybe we use it, we can use it downstairs. I don't know.
That looks like something we should be able to break through, doesn't it? No way to open this with it. Curious. I happen to know that this stuff is Gatlock. So, can we blow it up? What happens if we do that? No. Alright, never mind. Well, did not find a use for the Veilfire. Ah! Okay. Yeah, we know this place. One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now, Your Holiness. Colin, please just call me Liliana. Yes, Your uh, Liliana. Kunari can't hide forever. They're inside those Alluvians somewhere. We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Our only advantage is that Orle and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Could we use the Canari threat to remind everyone how valuable the Inquisition still is? Not until we know more. It will be fine. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. We? Your Holiness? <sighs> you do, Josie? I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Kunari are doing, and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. Now, it said I won't be able to get together with my friends, but why not? They're still here, right? They're still here, right? Or are they? Where well, did the Inquisitor slip off to during the council? Oh, I don't know. Into a bunch of Illuvians? Was there something you needed?
Is there any news from Ferelden? How's your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess. All good news, then? Not all, but most of it is, and that's good enough. Have you had a chance to speak with Liliana? Away from work, I mean. Some, yes. Liliana has kept in contact, unofficially, of course, but it's good to see her again. Arguing with her in person is far more satisfying. <laughs> Do you remember the first time we came to the Winter Palace? All too well. I've already answered a half dozen questions about my personal life. The reason we're here is because we made a difference. That's worth enduring the political small talk. Is there anything I should know? We were permitted soldiers here, but our every move is watched. Some things never change. I should go. Inquisitor? Does this dog ever get tired of this stuff? Checking for any Harlequins around. Ooh, what's this? Didn't we already do this wager? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is new. Have you seen Ambassador Montelier trying to cool everyone's tempers after the Inquisitor ran out of the Exalted Castle? The Gaul Trevelyan has some nerve. Have you noticed the runners at the Divine's quarters? Everyone is demanding the most holy address the affront. If anything, the Inquisitor's actions strengthen Ferelden's positions. Arl Tegan is fuming. Lord Cyril won't let him push. This is as good as sealed, my friend. We'll see. Divine Victoria. <laughs> Please don't. It would be nice to just be Liliana again for a few days. As you command, most holy. <sighs> <laughs> Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh, yes. A litter was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. Do you miss being our spy master? I think I miss the people more than the work. Josie, Cullen. I didn't notice how much I liked having them near until they weren't. We're right, of course, but it's not the same. Have your agents any news I should hear about? There is activity in the Tirashan. Strange elves, like those of the Temple of Methal. No news of Solus, however. I don't know what the Tirashan is. Perhaps later, Liliana. I'll be right here if you need anything. I have no idea what the Tirashan is. Still checking for Harlequins. Darling, what can I do for you? I wanted your opinion of how Divine Victoria is working out. Leliana's tenure has been even more disastrous than I imagined. How are things for the Circle of Magi? If you call it the Circle while they're in earshot, you'll never hear the end of it, my dear. The College of Enchanters is a ridiculous mess, but it's still a useful institution for training mages. We'll talk another time. I can't believe it's been so long. Around two years. That's it? Two years? Sweet merciful maker, it felt like ten. That could have been all the wine. Only thing back home I really missed. What is this ambassadorship about exactly? I believe my father set it up, but... The Imperium certainly didn't object. They'd love for the Inquisition to fall apart. So they're happy if it seems they consider this council a waste of time. That makes no sense. No? If Dredd had been to actually pushed for the Inquisition's end, everyone else would disagree on principle. 
so they send a nobody pariah and hope for the best. Makes perfect sense to me. What did you do in Tavinta while you were away? I went home. Twice. The father was only there once. The mother was drunk both times. I also went to Carinus to see my good friend Mayveris. Then I settled some of Alexis's affairs. That wasn't fun. Any thoughts about the Exalted Council? A few. Divine Victoria needs a new tailor for one. From the paintings of Liliana in that enormous robe, you'd think she was pregnant. Could cause a delicious scandal. As for this whole Exalted Council business, well... I warned you once that no one would thank you for saving the world. Sadly, I'm always right. So long as the Inquisition's around to remind them they're not really in charge, they'll never sleep comfortably. Whether they have the guts to take action, I suppose we'll see. Another time. I look forward to it. No Harlequins. Oh, they're not. He's not here. Tegan's not here. So I guess that means Cyril's not here either. Is that right? That's right. Cyril is not here either. But Josephine's here. So what is Cyril and uh, Tegan doing? Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? Probably not. We know almost nothing about how their magic works. I think in this case, I would have preferred a polite fiction. You've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. I don't like to worry you, but... <laughs> Thank you, Josephine. You're most welcome. Tell me if there's anything I can do to help. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. She makes a nice romance. The duel is kind of funny. No Harlequin here. Wish I hadn't burned all my contacts with the Ben Hasrath. Be nice to have some idea what they're doing right now. Yeah, but then you'd be on their side, Chief. Yes, but I'd know things. I like knowing things. The charges have been with the Inquisition for a while now. Is everyone still happy? No complaints, Your Worship. The Inquisition's been good to us. We'd disband and join the Inquisition officially, but the Chief gets this sad dog look when we suggest it. The loyalty is touching, Krem. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Anytime, boss. Does this get added to?
Ah, yes, it does get added too. When wonder we wear wanders whittle. Whoa, whoa, words. <laughs> Hello, and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? It's been a couple of years. How's everything sitting with you? It's weird meeting back up and seeing everyone get their grey. First time I've been anywhere long enough to get fond of things. Leliana's friendly when she wants to be. My people sometimes do things for her, like I do for you. And all for Andraste, I suppose. It still rings right, but the way people used to go on about it, I thought there'd be more trumpets. When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever. Arse. Point is, the servants have no complaints. No asking for a Jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So, the nobles are nice, and the servants are happy. Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. I suppose you've a lot to say about that elven ruin, about the creators. They're not even demons, just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it. But always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. We've new fights to look forward to. We always do, seems like. We'll talk later. Count on seeing you, yeah? Her name is different now. Victoria. The old name slips away further each time. She's glad you're here. Need me for anything? What do you think is going to happen at the Exalted Council? Maker, I have no idea. Politics always makes my head spin. The Inquisition shouldn't have to give in whenever some prissy noble gets their knickers wet somewhere. What is it like being a warden now? Things are in upheaval. There have been heated arguments about the future of the Order. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if we tore ourselves apart. It's nice to have everyone back in the same place again. <laughs> I have to admit I missed it. What does it mean when we need a huge diplomatic talk or the world ending just to bring us together? I got the chance to have a few drinks with Sarah. Miss that girl. It's still a little awkward talking to Cassandra. But the commander appears to have forgiven me. Finally. Until later. Take care. I should definitely check in with Cassandra. I actually forgot about Cassandra. I can't believe I forgot about Cassandra, but I did. What would you like, my love? I hear you've been rebuilding the Seekers. Slowly, but yes. I managed to find a few of my former comrades who'd scattered to the winds. Some of them were unsuitable, and I did not ask them to return. Others felt as I did, once they read the Lord Seeker's tome. We've since recruited a few candidates who are going through training now, with full disclosure. What comes after this, <laughs> I cannot be certain. I am making it up as I go along.
I'm sure you'll be fine, Cassandra. I need to be better than fine. I want to build something that is worthy of lasting. So what do you think of the Chantry? You ask me just to poke at me and see if I react, don't you? It is what it is. Most Holy's reforms are interesting, to say the least. I hope they last once Liliane is gone. Regardless of what I think, it could have been far worse. You and I both remember the dark times we faced. Sadly, others have far shorter memories. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. They might be right. Do not say that near them unless you want to give them the scent of blood. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. <laughs> when has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. <laughs> oh yeah, later. we need to check in with Varric. Farewell. Need to check in with Varric. going all right so far I don't understand how you could just become a Viscount when the ruler of a marcher state dies and there's no heir the nobles of the city pick a new ruler. only none of Kirkwall's nobles actually want the throne most of them think it's cursed actually they can't leave it empty though or some other state like Starkhaven or Ansberg will probably invade I complained about the empty office when it interfered with my reconstruction efforts. They took that as volunteering. <coughs> I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers from my next book. So Bran used to be Viscount and now he just follows you around? <laughs> Provisional Viscount. Pretty much. With a permanent appointee, finally, in the Viscount's office, I am free to return to my post as Seneschal. He means my true calling is arrogantly telling people they can't talk to the Viscount. He's good at it, too. We'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. Make sure I got everybody. Josephine, Cassandra, Blackwall, Cole, Do -do -do, Dorian, Viv, and Cause, and Liliana. So, yeah, we got everybody. So now we are going there. Investigate the Canary plot. But we will investigate the Canary plot in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day.